like trouble. They both have new skateboards. Look at this cool face mask. Hey, this pad's too big for my knee. Well, that's because that pad goes on your shoulder, not on your knee. And that's not a face mask. It's a helmet, and it goes on your head. How did you know that? It says so right here on the instruction sheet. It does? Uh, uh we knew that. Oh, oh, my. Mr. Frumble is always chasing this hat. Yeah, I think you should get a hat with a chin strap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Vanderbilt is here, too. Mr. Town Action Bug News! Now we'll find out what's going on. Goldbug here, reporting live from Busy Town Square with Mayor Fox to announce a very special event. Thank you, Goldbug. Today, we're going to place a brand new nameplate on our statue of one of the most famous busy towners ever, Admiral Hornblast. What's a nameplate? It's that metal plate, Sally. It has Admiral Hornblast's name on it, so everyone who goes past will know it's a statue of him. Oh, dear. Hey, there goes Mr. Frumble again, still trying to catch his hat. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> Goldbug here with an important news flash. A runaway bulldozer is on the loose in Busy Town Square. Goldbug. Ah! <laughs> I can't stop it! I can't stop it! Ooh. No, dear. I'm dreadfully sorry. It was my hat, you see. I was out of control. Whoa! <laughs> well, folks, the good news is everything is okay. It would take more than a bulldozer to damage the statue of Admiral Hornblast. So now, back to Mayor Fox. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Goldbug. Uh, okay, uh, uh, where were we? Uh, oh, yes, yes, Admiral Hornblast's nameplate. Huh? It's gone! <gasps> Luckily, Busy Town's number one mystery solver is here at the scene. So, Huckle, do you have any idea what could have happened to the nameplate? No, I don't, Goldbug. But I do know three things. One, it's too big to have just blown away. Two, it didn't just magically disappear. And three, that makes this a... mystery! Ready for it? Here goes! Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Who, what, why, how? Who, what, when, where, why, how? Everybody! Who, what, when, where, why, how? Solve a mystery!
Stay tuned for important news updates as Huckle and his team try to solve the mystery of Admiral Hornblast's nameplate. Goldbug, out! I don't get it. Why didn't anyone see what happened to it? Well, Sally, no one was paying attention. Everyone was watching Mr. Frumble and the bulldozer. Boy, if we had a time machine, we could just go back in time and watch what happened to the nameplate. Well, my camera can show us what things looked like before. That might help. I took a picture when we first got here. See, there's the nameplate leaning against the statue before the bulldozer started chasing Mayor Fox. And the next thing we knew, it was gone. Hmm, so where did it go? Hmm, maybe somehow the nameplate ended up in the bulldozer's shovel. That's possible. Let's go see. Excuse me, sir, but is it all right if we take a look in the shovel before you move it? It's empty, Huckle. The nameplate isn't here. So now what, Huckle? Hmm. Let me see your picture again, Sally. Maybe it will give us a clue. Look, there's Vanderbilt with his video camera. Maybe he recorded something that might help us solve the mystery. Good idea, Huckle, but I think Vanderbilt already left. Well then, next stop. Vanderbilt's house. Hey, wait for us! We want to help solve the mystery! <laughs> hey, you got your elbow pad tangled with mine! No, you got your elbow pad tangled with mine! Did not! Did too! Did not! Did too! Hey, Huckle, have you solved the mystery yet? Not yet, Vanderbilt. That's why we're here. Maybe you can help us solve it. I always wanted to help solve a real mystery. What can I do? Look for fingerprints? Find some clues? Well, it's possible you may have recorded a clue on your video camera. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look at the video I made. My camera is all hooked up to the television. What are we looking for, Huckle? Well, I'm hoping we'll see what happened to the nameplate during all the fuss with Mr. Frumble. Look, there's the nameplate. And there's Mr. Frumble and the bulldozer coming right at me. Good thing I can run fast. Now the nameplate's gone, and we didn't see what happened to it. I guess my video isn't going to be much help. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Could you rewind it back a little? Sure. Look! The statue moved sideways when the bulldozer bumped it. Does that have something to do with the missing nameplate, Huckle? I'm not sure, Loli. Maybe. It's just something we never noticed before. Thanks, Vanderbilt. You're welcome. I sure hope it helps. Hey, come back here! <laughs> Ta-da! I finally here. How do you stop? <laughs> Boy, this safety equipment works great. Sure it does, but it beats me how we're supposed to stop on these skateboards. Maybe it says something about that in the instructions. Hmm, I just got an idea. Maybe when the bulldozer hit the statue, it knocked the nameplate away. Just like what happened to Pig Will when Pig Will bumped into him and sent him flying into the bush. That sounds possible. But then where did the nameplate get bumped to? We didn't see it anywhere. It might have been knocked into the bushes just like Pig Will. The only way to find out is to go back to Busy Town Square and look. Hey, wait for me! You were right, Huckle. You can see by these long scratches that the bulldozer pushed Admiral Hornblast's statue sideways. That means the nameplate would have been knocked in the same direction. Let's check those bushes over there. The nameplate's not here. It isn't here either, Huckle. Maybe it did just disappear. Something else must have happened to it. Now, how do you stop this thing? Well, that's one way to stop it. Let me see that in 
instruction sheet! Hey, where did it go? It was in my hand a second ago. Well, it didn't just disappear. There it is. Under your skateboard. Your skateboard must have slid on top of the instruction sheet. Well, that mystery is solved, but we still have to figure out what happened to the nameplate. Okay. We know that the nameplate was leaning against the statue before the bulldozer hit it. But then the bulldozer bumped the statue, sliding it sideways. <gasps> hmm. Wait a second. Ah! I think I know what happened to Admiral Hornblast's nameplate. So, Huckle, have you solved the mystery of Admiral Hornblast's nameplate? I think I have, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. When the bulldozer bumped the statue, it seemed like the nameplate just disappeared. But when we watched Vanderbilt's video, we noticed that the bulldozer slid the statue sideways. Then when Lolly pointed out that we couldn't see the instruction sheet because Pig won't skateboard slid on top of it, I figured the same thing could have happened to the nameplate. I think when the bulldozer bumped the statue, the nameplate got knocked over. The statue slid right over it. If we get the bulldozer to slide Admiral Hornblast's statue back, I bet we'll find the nameplate under it. Look, the nameplate. Huckle was right. Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one too. Up skateboarding. Me too. There are just too many instructions. Exactly. We need something simple, like roller skates. Just what I was thinking. Come on, let's go find some roller skates. And we better go find someplace safe to hide before they roller skate back here and can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> the secret spy ring mystery. Shoo. Wow, Vanderbilt! This garden you planted sure is cool. Thanks. It's all part of my latest experiment to mix flower seeds to grow new and unusual flowers. That's so neat. Do they have names? Yeah, those are lily daisies. These are rose tulips, and these are... Ooh, what's this spooky flower? Oh, that's a Vander fly trap. It eats flies. Yeah, right. Plants can't eat flies. Sure they can. See for yourself. Galloping galoshes! Wowee, Vanderbilt. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's weird. The fly got away, but I still hear munching sounds. They're coming from over there. Oh. Ah. I knew they'd hear you eating. No, you didn't. Did too. Pigwell and Pigwong, why are you hiding in Vanderbilt's bushes? How did you know it was us, Huckle? Yeah, we're disguised. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Who are you? It's Lolly, you sillies. Your disguise slipped out of your greasy hand. Hey, go away, fly. I don't have any more chicken. Shoo, shoo. The fly must smell the chicken on your fingers. You still didn't tell us why you guys were hiding in the bushes. Oh, we were playing spies. You know, like when you sneak around to find out secrets. But we don't have any secrets. Yes, you do. You have a secret meatball-eating plant. It's not a secret. And it doesn't eat meatballs, just flies. Whoa, it looks like it just caught a ginormous fly. Too cool. You think that's cool? Check out my secret spy ring. It buzzes and blinks red at exactly 2 o'clock to let us know when it's secret spy snack time. Even though Pig won't already ate our snack. I only ate your half. My half is ready to eat when my secret spy ring alarm goes off. Uh, what ring? Oh, no! My secret spy ring is gone! <gasps> Do you know what this means? I won't know when it's secret spy snack time. Are you sure you had it on your finger, Pig won't? Yes, I put it on my finger first thing this morning. Maybe you took it off? Never! A true spy never takes off a secret spy ring. Mmm, 
then I think what we've got here is a mystery. Who are you? Yeah, and where's Goldbug? Wow, we didn't recognize you. Goldbug here, reporting live from Vanderbilt's house, where Huckle has uncovered a ring-a-ding of a mystery. Isn't that right, Huckle? It sure is, Goldbug. Big Wound's secret spy ring has disappeared, and we're going to find out what happened to it and solve the secret spy ring mystery. Okay, ready for it? Here goes! as Huckle and friends solve the secret spy ring mystery. Goldbug out! Okay, guys, let's retrace your steps. Where were you before you were hiding in Vanderbilt's bushes? We were at the Busy Town Bakery. All right, then maybe that's where your ring is. What are we waiting for, team? To the Busy Town Bakery! So what were you doing at the bakery earlier today? We were spying on Baker Humperdinck to get his secret lemon pie recipe. Ooh. So, did you get it? No, but Baker Humperdinck invited us in to help him make a lemon pie. Hey, maybe you lost a ring in the pie when you were making it. There's only one way to find out. We have to check the pie. Mm. Hello, Baker Humperdinck. We were wondering if you could help us find Pig Won't's lost ring. We think it might be in the lemon pie he helped make earlier. Goodness, I hope not. We'll have to check. Now, which pie was it? Oh, I think it's that pie over there. Oopsie. Nope, this pie is chocolate. Hmm. Oh, then it must be that one over there. Oh, no. Nope, this pie is raspberry. Oh, how about that pie behind you? Aha! <laughs> so there it is. Okay, Secret Spy Ring, if you're hiding in that pie, we'll find you. This was the most delicious game of hide and seek we've ever played. But we didn't find my Secret Spy Ring, so that means it's still missing. He's right, Huckle. If the ring isn't in the pie, where could it be? I don't know, Sally. You must have lost your ring before you arrived at the bakery. So where were you before you came here, Pigwont? We were at Granny Goodpig's. Then maybe your secret spy ring is somewhere at Granny's. Let's go. Thanks, Baker Humperdinck. Okay, Pig Will and Pig Won't. What were you doing here earlier? We were spying on Granny to get her secret fried chicken recipe. Mm. Mm. So, did you get it? No, but Granny invited us in to help mix the batter for her chicken. Hey, maybe Pig Won't lost his ring in the batter. Oh, hello, children. Come on in. Hi, Granny. You didn't find a ring in your chicken batter, did you? Goodness, no. Oh, why would there be a ring in my chicken batter? <laughs> Rings aren't one of my secret ingredients. <laughs> we think Pig Won't might have lost his ring in the batter when he was helping mix it earlier. Well, there's some batter left in the bowl if you want to check. Here, use this ladle. Oh, 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 oh. Guess my fingers are too slippery from the fried chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it, Granny. It's not there? Don't be sad, Pig Won't. Here, enough chicken for you and your friends. Thanks, Thanks Granny. Granny. You're welcome. I'll never find my secret spy ring. Never, ever! You should never say never, and you should never, ever give up. Sally's right. Your ring has to be somewhere, and if it's not at Granny's, then you must have lost it before you came here. But we weren't anywhere else. After we put on our spy rings this morning, we came straight to Granny's. Then we went to the bakery. We didn't go anywhere else. But then where did you lose your ring? You must have gone somewhere else. Wait, I know where you were. You were at Vanderbilt's eating chicken. Right. Sally took a picture of you hiding in the bushes. And look, there's your ring. 
but how is that possible? We were at Vanderbilt's when I discovered my ring was gone, so where did it go? There's only one way to find out. Back to Vanderbilt's, everybody. So, did you find the ring? Not yet, but now we know that Pig Wong lost it around here somewhere. Sally's picture shows Pig Wong standing in the bushes with the ring. He was also standing in the very same place when he discovered it was missing. I don't get it. How can the ring be on my finger one second and then off my finger the next? It's not on the ground, so where is it? Oh, no, you don't, you meatball-eating plant. I told you, Pig Won't. It only eats flies. And it sure takes a long time to eat them. That lump is exactly the same size as it was this morning. Oh, no! Not you again! Go away! I don't have anything to eat! Shoo! Hmm. Hey! <laughs> the chicken bone flew right out of your slippery fingers! <laughs> That's it! I think I know what happened to Pig Won't Spy Ring! <laughs> Goldbug reporting live from Vanderbilt's house with a ringside seat to Huckle's update on the secret spy ring mystery. That's right, Goldbug. Here's what I think happened. We went to the bakery first. We didn't find the spy ring in the pie, but we did see Baker Humperdinck's oven mitts flying off every time he waved his hands. Next, we went to Granny's. We didn't find the ring in the batter, but we did see how the ladle kept slipping from Granny's hands that were slippery because they were covered in chicken grease just like Pig Won't's hands were greasy and slippery. Then when I saw Pig Won't waving his greasy hand around to get rid of the fly and saw the chicken bone slip out of his hand, I remembered that he had been waving his hand around before as well. So I think that when Pig Won't waved his hand to shoo away the fly, his ring slipped right off his greasy finger and landed in the Vander Fly Trap. You mean that meatball-eating flower is eating my spy ring? We're about to find out in just a few seconds. How can you be sure, Huckle? Because it's almost 2 o'clock. Secret Spy Snack Time! <laughs> my secret spy ring! There you have it, folks. Huckle has solved the secret spy ring mystery. Everybody all together solved the mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Is Goldbug saying? That's enough. Thank you and goodbye. It's secret spy snack time. So, where'd the chicken go? Hey, you're eating our snack. Don't worry. I only ate your half. This time, I really don't have any. Go after him, not me. Show, show. Well, what do you know? I guess it does eat more than just flies. <laughs> <laughs>